Hi, I'm Lily and you're watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you about the NRG steering wheel setup that I have in my 92 Corvette. In my last video I did, I had some questions about what I was using as far as the steering wheel setup and so I thought, well shoot, I can, I can show you that pretty quickly and then hopefully that'll help you all. Um, so there's three components that I needed to be able to do this. Um, and one was an adapter plate that actually goes on that uh, hooks on to the steering column itself. And then there's a, uh, a quick disconnect release. Um, and then that goes in between this adapter and the, um, uh, and the steering wheel itself. So it works for a couple different things. It works as a spacer and it also works as kind of a security feature. So in the event that uh, you don't want to have to use the club or anything like that, you know, to be able to keep from somebody stealing your car, you can just literally push one button and um, and pull a ring back, and the steering wheel will just come off. So it's kind of hard to steal a car when they don't have <laughs> when they don't have the uh, steering wheel. So anyway, uh, I'm going to jump into the car. I'm going to show you the pieces. And then I've uh, gone on to my order history from Amazon and took some uh, sh little snapshots of the um, of what I actually ordered, so you can see that and how much I actually did pay. So, um, so we're going to jump into the car and we'll go from there. So here's the the steering wheel setup that I have. Uh, again, this is from NRG. All three parts are. And you can see that it's a black leather steering wheel with the red stitching. I decided to do that to match the the red stitching um, that's on my uh, on my seats. I just did the seats and the steering wheel about the same time. And you, if you want to be able to see a video of that, I actually did that in a detailed detailed video on how to change the seat covers. Um, but what we have here is that the now the a lot of people are probably going to ask this about the horn button. Um, this this horn button is the the button that actually came with the steering wheel, um, except it was just uh, flat black. And I actually used a a vinyl uh, carbon fiber vinyl kind of stuff um, that I put over it, and then I went to uh, Eckler's and ordered a hat pin or a lapel pin and just um, went ahead and put that pin on there. I actually drilled a little hole in the center of the uh, of the button and then put just a little bit of two-way stick tape on the back of it and that that held it. It matches the um, it matches the other one that I have here in the center console and it also matches the one that I have on my door jams. So you can see that all of them are kind of just, they all just kind of blend in. So anyway, uh, back to the steering wheel. So the steering wheel uh, is just the one component. It actually screws on with these screws onto this adapter or the, the uh, release, the quick release um, latch here. And that acts as a spacer to get the steering wheel far enough away from the column that your uh, that your uh, cruise control and your turn signal switch will actually be able to clear. Without it, that will actually hit the steering wheel and you won't be able to actually change, um, change your high beam, low beam. So then also you need, you need the adapter ring itself. Now this is all after we've taken the, yes, I did take the airbag out, which um, we'll talk about that here in a minute. Um, but so you've got your three components. You've got your adapter ring, you've got the uh, quick release, and then you've got the steering wheel itself. Okay, and that's pretty much what what we have here now. Um, like I said, when we're talking about the the adapter ring right here, and I'm going to be showing you a uh, a snapshot from Amazon here, and then we're going to move over to the the uh, quick release. And I'm going to show you a snapshot of that. You can get the part numbers. 
and then also the steering wheel itself. So here's the original steering wheel here. And, you know, I love pretty much all the stuff that Corvette does with their cars. But I have to say that one of the worst things that they could have ever done is put this steering wheel in a car. This is the most ugliest steering wheel I've ever seen in my life, as far as I was concerned. So it drove me nuts. I wanted to, originally I liked the original 84 through 89, and preferably actually the, the thicker wheel of the 86 to the 89 steering wheel. And I actually ordered one and tried to put it on, and without doing a lot of modifications, I just wasn't going to be able to make that work. So... Um, I decided to go ahead and send that back and go back with what I ended up doing, which was the NRG uh, product. So um, I ended up, uh, you know, getting rid of this thing, which um, this little guy, it's not that hard to take off. It really isn't. There's a couple of screws here on the back side. Um, there's one here, one over here. You go and screw those with a, it's a Torx. And that allows the airbag itself to come out. Like so, and you just have this little connector right here. Um, it's right here, this dis disconnects. And then at that point, you can use a standard steering wheel puller right through here to remove the steering wheel itself from the, from the um, column. And then at that point, you just pull this little guy through, drop this out, the steering wheel comes off like so, get it out of the way, and then you're faced with the uh, the wonderful clock spring. This will still be stuck on the column and you have to be able to get this little guy off and and its whole purpose is to be able to send to transmit the airbag signal through the column as the wheel spins back and forth. So um, this has a sophisticated little uh, ring of or I guess I should say a, it's a tape taped connection um, Almost, almost like an eight-track tape from the old days, um, and so this allows the signal to go from the back side of the column, which is connected over here and in the in the column. Let's see if I can keep my hands in focus here, and then this is connected to the airbag. So, what you have to do is one of two things, and and this is how I did it. I pulled was able to pull the wire up to the car, the harness enough by disconnecting there's another connector down down by your feet underneath that you can disconnect and you can allow that wire to slide up a little bit and then you can clip this you can clip the two wires inside this shielding and then you can tape them off and then you can pull that wire back through down underneath um, on in the on the firewall or not the firewall but under underneath the kick panel where your feet are at Okay, that'll get this remaining part of this cable out of the way so you now can, uh, you can go ahead and put your adapter rings on and all that stuff and do everything you need to do up on the top side. And it also keeps it from getting uh, caught up inside the steering wheel as it's turning, uh, you know, on a regular basis. So once we've taken the airbag out of the system to put the new steering wheel in, now we're when we go to start the car, we're going to have an airbag light come on. Now, there's two ways of defeating that. One is to um, change, put the resistors in, uh, in between, and where we cut the wire here um, on the, cl the clock spring, the remaining wire that's actually still in the harness, we can actually um, get the resistance value and um, put that together so we don't we're, we'll trip the light and it'll the computer will still think the airbag's there and then that way you don't have the light come on the simpler way of do, going about it would be to just simply go into the uh, information panel and just pull the bulb um, because if you if you decide to put the steering wheel back in you're just going to reconnect these connectors and the light will go out anyhow so it's not really a big deal so that's how I defeated my light. I just, just pulled the bulb. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. Um, what I've got here is, like I said, the NRG steering wheel system here. Um, again, the steering wheel, we have the quick release, and we've got the adapter plate. Now, it's very, very simple to take this loose. There's a little shiny little button right here at the very top. I don't Hopefully you can see that with my finger and I'm going to push that down and I'm going to 
grab this ring in the back, back here with my fingers. I'm going to pull it back, and the steering wheel is going to come off. So now we've got, we've just got the steering wheel here like so. There's the quick release right there. And it actually has the pass-through for the horn. Um, so, you know, the connectors are all connected in here for the horn so that the butt horn button still works. But it's going to be really hard for somebody to be able to steal this car with this, with it just like this. Um, and it also makes it so if you decide you want to be able to change steering wheels for whatever reason, uh, you can do that very, very quickly. So, but that's what she looks like. Uh, again, this little ring right here is the adapter. This right here, right from this little flange right here, right next to these screws, these screw into that adapter. And then this part is the other side of this piece here. And that's all there is to it. So then to go put it back on, I can just push it on here, it self aligns itself and it pops in place and it's not coming off. So that's about it for the steering wheel. Hopefully you found this video uh, helpful and informative. And if so, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and be sure to hit that bell to be informed of our next uploads. You guys all have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you later. Hi, you're watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.